Hello and welcome back. We're going all higgity, 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 vegetable samosa, vegan rolls. Now, half of you just switched off because I mentioned the V word, and these are plant based, so that's another quarter of you. There's only a quarter of you left watching it. Now, look, 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 you can get vegetarian stuff that is meant to be vegetarian, and these are vegetable samosa vegan rolls. Now, they look like sausage rolls, so. Samosa, samosa is a, a certain type of pastry, or you get like the phyllo type, the, the crispy, thin stuff. So, this looks a bit like a sausage roll to me, but I don't know. Price wise for these, £3.40 for four little ones. Expensive, again, because it says vegetable, it says vegan, and it says plant based, they double the price. Put less in, charge more for it. But they may be nice. Now, what does it say about them? It says, Vegetable samosa vegan rolls, spiced cauliflower, carrot and chickpeas with a sweet mango chutney wrapped in vegan puff pastry and hand-topped with a mixed seed sprinkle. Now, first off, vegetable samosa vegan rolls. Samosa and it's puff pastry. That is not a samosa for a start. And they've put mango chutney in it, which is going to make it sweet. Now, oh, I've said four of these. There's not, there's six, six mini... I think I said four anyway. Six mini rolls. 340, I think. 340, 350. But expensive. Six little rolls. Now, it's plant based. It's vegan friendly. Cauliflower, carrot, chickpeas, sweet mango chutney. Mm. We'd better see how spicy it is. You can have these hot or cold. So, I'm going to whack one in the air fryer and warm it up. And we'll have hot and cold and see what they're like. These are better taste nice. Right, we're going to crack on with the cold one. Hopefully you can't hear the air fryer. It's going in the background. And that, that's what it actually looks like. So it doesn't look bad. Don't forget, you get vegetable samosas. And it's not a, a vegan thing, a vegetarian thing. You can't, those meat eaters are offended when you mention vegan or plant-based or anything like that. The bigger majority of people in India are actually vegetarian. Hence, you get your Bombay potatoes, sagaloo. Aloo gobi, all these side dishes that you know they're not you, you eat them, don't you, when you go to your takeaway so or your restaurant. So it's not like it's something that's wrong. It just try things. But three pound fifty for six mini rolls, the sausage rolls, put sausage roll pastry. That's what's done me for a start. Smell wise. It just smells all right. It smells spicy, um, or lightly spiced. And I'm smelling the mango chutney. Filling wise, just, I suppose is enough. Um, mm. let's, let's try it. Hmm. That is, uh, it's a bit sweet with the mango chutney that's in there. I think they'll be better warmed up. Because the pastry is not the best when it's cold. A bit very lightly spiced. And the taste is okay, but it doesn't taste anything like any vegetable samosa I've had. So warm then. The, the smell's not coming through anymore when the warm, and it normally does with spices. It's going to be red hot. It's going to burn me gob, but let's get stuck in and see. Is it better warm? Tastes exactly the same. The spices have not come through anymore when it's warm. Uh, still tastes slightly sweet. And the pastry is still... Sausage roll pastry that's not oh, excellent pastry. Right, let's get into that then. Rating first. Sit down, I'm afraid. Why is it a down? Uh, firstly, the pastry. I know that can't be helped too much because it's vegan. And vegan pastry is never as good as non-vegan pastry. So, I can't really like say, oh, the pastry is bleh. Because that's, that's what it is. It's the nature of the beast. It's vegan pastry. And it, it, it's passable. It will be anyway. Uh, no, it's passable, the, the pastry. And with the seeds on top, just add something a bit extra. But the filling, it just... just it's, it's not enough going on. There's not enough flavourings coming through. The spice is so lightly spiced that all you're getting, all I'm getting anyway, is the, the sweetness from the carrot, the sweetness from the mango chutney, 
the, the cauliflower's a bit sweet anyway. And it's just, it's too sweet. And the chickpeas are, you know, chickpeas don't have a lot of flavour as they are. It needed more spices, more cumin seeds in there, nigella seeds in there to give it something to, to add the flavour and a bit of chilli in there or a bit more if they put some in. I don't know, but there's not enough flavouring coming through. It just tastes like you've, you've mashed up some veg with a bit of potato and put a tiny sprinkle of spice in there just to give it a flavour and wrapped it in pastry. That's probably what they've done, I don't know, but £3.50 for six, uh, what are they called? Vegetable samosa vegan rolls. So... It just is not enough going on. Not enough going on. Needed a lot more spice in there, a lot more flavouring to come through, and a bit less sweet. They should drop the mango chutney out and put more spices in and a bit of chilli and a bit more potato. But you're in business. But, no, it's, it's a down, I'm afraid. Thumbs up on this video. Smash that like button. Comments below. Like I say, have you tried these? If not, are you going to try them? Do I recommend you try them? Uh, no. But you can still try them anyway. And don't forget to click the notification bell because if not, you're going to miss out on videos. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And we'll catch you on another one.